Well, everybody, the very last War of the Spark box opening video. The very last one, everybody. I hope you guys enjoy the journey through War of the Spark. Let's talk about the final thoughts of what's going on. These two boxes were purchased by my patron. Do you remember who he is? My patron! Actually, he's been a long-term patron. He owns the, uh, the, 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 um, the book publisher, Dark Regions Press. Just to give you guys an idea, I'll show you what it looks like. He's been a patron for a very long time, and he actually publishes uh, horror book books. For those of you out there who are into writing and doing things, they actually, uh, if you have actually, if you're actually good at that kind of thing, which I'm not, if you can actually write some uh, horror novels, he is actually good. They will get you published, and they write uh, horror novels on different, like, very dramatic, hardcore horror movies and uh, novels. Very cool. This is actually a numbered one. Isn't that kind of neat? Book is numbered to 300. So, uh, just a heads up on there, if anybody's interesting, The Booking by, oh, crap, you guys can't see it, can you? By Ron Z. Campbell. So just be aware on there, if that's something you're interested in, I do have a patron who's actually a publisher. Pretty cool stuff, isn't it? Anyways, now we're going to watch him lose all his money. Now we're going to make sure, since we showed his books and who he does and what he is, and now we're going to show everybody how a book publisher loses all their money. Nah, I'm just kidding, or am I? No, it's probably not. Well, anybody, good luck, everybody, and uh, this is it. Hope everyone's having a great day, and um, let's just see how the final War of the Spark box opening. This is it, folks. No more war openings after this. I know some people are like, finally, Rudy, you've done like 8 billion War of the Spark opening videos in the last two months. Ah, of course, Mobilized District, why not? But... I think this is going to be looked back upon as a very interesting period in the world of magic. False Landing, our first foil common. Mostly because of the fact that it's just the story of how hyped and the largest spiking standard product at release that I've seen in many, many years. I think it's going to leave a definitely a major impact. And of course, as with all things in life, as time goes on... Oh! Boar God! First Mythic! As with all things in life... As time goes on, uh, new players join, old players quit, and the cycle of magic continues. I don't think most people are going to remember this. People are just going to be like, oh yeah, War of the Sparks, that was a cool set. I don't think people are going to remember those history and those stories and the booms and the busts. So, well, so far, um, yeah, we're not, we're, not really, uh, we're not really doing so hot. We got a Boar God for 10 bucks. I think it's about all we got going. And we got a bunch of dollar rares and mobilized flipping districts, a common foil. Not doing that great right now. Not, not the best start, everybody. Dread Horn Invasion. So, yeah, just, uh, I think, uh, I'll talk about War of the Spark a little bit moving forward. But, um, whereas we retire the box opening videos today with the very last one. Um, I don't know. I think, I don't think we're ever going to see really another standard product. Oh, there's our Blast Zone, finally. Usually, we, if we get Mobilized District, Blast Zone says, screw you, I'm out. Not going to do anything else. So, um, yeah, just laying that out there. So, and Niv Mizzet, Mythic number two. Terrible, terrible Mythic. So, I think it's going to go down as a very interesting set, and I think it's going to go down as a, a very widely open product, which is probably going to stunt a lot of the singles growth for a very long time. And on top of that, I don't think we're really going to see another standard set that's going to be loaded with Planeswalkers. I don't, th I don't think we redo that kind of thing. I don't think that's going to be a, a do-over anytime soon. Oh, Karn! Swinging in for the $10. There we go. Uh, but yeah, that's my opinion. I think this is going to be... Uh, this is kind of that Black Swan one-and-done type of set. Vivian looking good. Oh! God, still gets me every time. Foil of Johnny. Looks great. Don't think he's worth much, though. Foil rare, everybody. Uh, not bad. At least it's a foil Planeswalker. But yeah, I don't think we're going to see anything else crazy like this anytime soon. Sockham And a common... Instant knockoff, what, Lava Axe or something, crap like that. Alright, just saying. That's my per personal opinion, but I gotta admit, it was a home run set. Karn's Bastion, wow, really? And another common, uncommon, hey, on. Wow, Karn's Bastion, Mobilized District, and Blast Zone. All three of the rare land cycle. That's pretty unusual for a first half of a booster box. It, that's very... I don't remember that happening anytime recently. Hmm. Just laying that out there. And Ugin, okay. So we're getting a lot of good rares. We are crossing all... If all we need now is what? A Mr. T? And then what? Um, is that all the good rares in the set? We've got like no good mythics going on. 
Is that a chip in the corner? Or is it the print dot? I can't tell. Um, yeah, we don't have any good... God. Weak in the Mythics, but we're getting all the good rares today, everybody. So, anyways, Tamio. But yeah, that's kind of how I feel things are going to go with uh, War of the Spark as we continue to move forward. Uh, I don't, I mean, you're not going to see me report and talk about it too much. Oh, Gideon, finally. Haven't seen a... Oh, really? A second foil rare. And the nice Gideon. Um, I don't think we're ever going to see another set. That's just all Planeswalkers. I th it reminds me kind of of... Um, how do I say it? I think War of the Spark Direction reminds me of... I'm going to say maybe like a unique set, like a future site. Or like a time spiral or something very unique where they do something special with it. And that's really the only time they ever do that kind of thing. Really? Again? We just had this in the other War of the Spark opening a couple days ago. Flying Crab Rudy Garbage Mythic. Really? Well, you got a Boar God and a Gideon. And then you got crappy Niv-Mizzet and Flying Rudy Crab Man. Terrible. So, half and half. Too good, too bad, I guess. Am I right? Narset's reversal again. So, that's kind of, uh... Ugh. That's volatile today. Definitely not a consistent pattern, though. And Mr. T! Wow, if we're gonna have a consistent pattern. Holy crap, we got every good rare in the set. You got Blast Zone, Mr. T, Ugin, um, Karn. I don't, I don't even know if we're missing any. Masker Girl, she always just wants to feel part of the party. Wow. So, anyways, just keep in mind, everybody, I do think War of the Spark will remain readily available. And it will remain readily in print for, honestly, going into 2020. I don't see this becoming out of print or not available for, honestly, <laughs> we're looking at at least probably a solid six months. So, I think this will be, but this could definitely be a candidate for the, um, similar to the Dominaria situation. Where they do a last print run, but it sells out faster than they expected. So what happens is they're not able to actually keep it available in, in print all the way through the end of standard. That is a possibility of a set like this. Cranko and a common Thunder Drake. So, well, overall decent box. Kind of a blah on the Mythics, though. But man, home run on the rares, everybody. Double tap in the card in one box. Okay. Two cards bashing just in the first box. That's, that's unusually strange. And a Chandra Fire Odyssey. Alright, that's the end of the first box. Eh, Mythics really messed this box opening up. Not the greatest, but you know what? And a vehicle. But man, at least you got all the good rares in the set. That's the only thing that really held on to this video to keep it going. Because man, that's... Ugh. Flipping Niv-Mizzet and the Flying Crab Guy, both in one box. That's that's flipping terrible. It's no Lily. No Nicobolas. Alright, box two. Um, honestly though, if you can get all the rare, this, see, that, that's, that was one of the things that made War of the Spark interesting, is you didn't need to just get these, like, home run mythics, like in, like, Iconic Masters or something. You know, you had the ability, foil land, we didn't even get that in the other box, and see, and that was w one of the things that I would like to talk about in War of the Spark, is think about it. This is one of the few standard sets that you can get good rares and hold a good box. Or you can get good mythics and actually have a good box. Or you can have both and get a home run. Where if you compare that to Iconic Masters, where it was like Mythic or Bust. You compare that to Core 2019, Mythic or Bust. There was no value. And now this was one of the sets that actually was able to spread the value, Giggity, across many different slots and, and actually the tiers. So you can make money from having good rares and good Mythics or one or the other. So that's not very common on a lot of the products. Like, for example, usually historically, like, Return to Ravnica, Gate Crash era, when you look back on it, the Shocklands absorbed so much value, you weren't able to really have a lot of other cards in the set that retain value long term. After it cycled, there was just so much supply. Like, the Mythic, Sphinx, uh, Sphinx's Revelation, all that stuff. Dude, everything just fell apart, man. So, uh, it's very nice to see something. Oh, another Karn. Two Karns? All right, that's nice. Uh, by the way, still, I don't think we have seen... No, we don't have any Mythics in Box 2 so far. So, that's, that's something... Oh, God Eternal! Alright, so it looks like we're going for a God Box. Is that what we're going with today? In the typical unsorted War of the Spark track printing for Mythics. So, I would assume now we're going to hit some Gods. Am I right? No. Nope. Railstorm and a flippin' Common Wolf. That's what I think. I think uh, that, that's going to be the best thing War of the Spark has going for him. And uh, let's see if we uh, we hold true, because I feel like we're going to be uh, straight up, um, what do we get? Uh, the God, God Mythic, sorry. 
I kept thinking, I was looking at the God Rare, and I was like, wait a minute, God Rare, Mythic, wait, what? I got confused! All right, here we go, boop, 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 and Bolas is Citadel. So, but overall, like I said, enjoy the video, everybody. This is, uh, otherwise, because today is the retirement day of War of the Spark. Oh, a double tap on the Boar God! Okay. Didn't see that coming. That was definitely, <laughs> that was the last thing I expected to see. All right, Dom Regen, and really? Exact same first two... <sighs> Well, it's kind of a strange way to end the War of the Spark series, am I right? Kind of a little on the wacky side. Vivian and your beautiful arc bow. So strange. I swear they screwed up on the track printing on these things. Commence the end game. I've never seen such consistent patterns on Mythics, man. I've never, ever seen that. That's so unusual for the Mythics. There it is. God box. Here we go. Second. God. Whenever you get the gods, you never get the finales. Like, it's so obvious. I mean, dude, this is like the 28th or 29th box opening we've done on War of the Sparks since release. And it's been the same thing. And these have been different batches, restocks, different distributors, everything. Ooh, that's cool looking. Eternal Taskmaster. That's a cool looking foil. Not worth anything. Just a regular foil in common. Probably worth a buck, but still cool. Alright. And Gideon. <laughs> wow. Three of the same mythics. Wow. So the first box, we only had four Mythics. We've already got five Mythics. And the funny part is, three of the four Mythics are, are the same as the other box. That is... Jeez, man. It's a little much, don't you think? Definitely didn't see that coming. Hydra! Shows you never know, everybody. Can't predict this crap. But you can also predict a little bit of the lack of sorting. It's the only thing you can predict. You can't predict the cards, but you can predict that uh, not good job on the Mythic track running at all. Don't know what changed there. I don't know if it was an accident or if it was on purpose. Awakening of Vitu Agazi. Right, whoa, that pack just kind of suspiciously came apart easily. Not, that's not, not suspicious at all. And Dreadhorn Arcanist. This is the first one we've gotten. We did not get this card in the other video. Uh, other video. Oh my god. I am just... This is the last War of the Spark opening and my brain is just like, really? I'm like singing farewell songs in my head. And Tamio. Yeah, that, uh, that Arcanist is the, uh, we didn't get one in box one, but apparently that's the hottest rare right now. So, it's kind of, uh, that came out of nowhere, am I right? Ravnica at War, never worth anything. Well, this is the last box, everybody. We only got a couple packs left. Hope everyone's having a great weekend here. And Krenko, again. And, uh, next time we talk about War of the Spark, it's just gonna be pretty much talking about the market. No more, uh, box cracking, everybody. Soul Divina. So, that's all I got, everybody. I am out of conversation at the end of the series. And Solar Blaze. God, some of these rares. I swear when they design certain rares, like in R&D, they sit there and say, okay, we need so many of them not worth money, and we need some that are really good. Like, I, I swear they do that. It really feels like it, because some of the cards they print or put as a rare or mythic, like, you know it's not a good rare or mythic. You know what I'm saying? Tank. And it's just like, really? You know. When they when they when they printed, they knew it wasn't gonna be a home run thing. Just just laying it out there. Alright, vehicle and the kitty cat. Alright, and here we go. Boop, 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 boop. And Soul Diviner again. Ah, oh, what a bad way to end the final thing. Can we have like something crazy at the very end? Just as like a good riddance thing? Oh, Mr. T, that's nice. Well, all right. I was like, can we get like some foil Mr. T Karn, some super rare thing in the last few packs to really have a nice climb? Oh, God Eternal. Wow, six mythic box. That's really nice. Told you. All gods, no finales. All right, everybody, the very last pack the Distinguished Rudy Advisor. Well, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. That is the end of the War of the Spark series. Everybody have a fantastic day. And as always, thank you for watching. My name is Rudy and you're watching Rudy's Timmy's Basement's Reach Around Club um, um, Face Popsicle um, uh, Giggity. Uh, don't worry, they're tagged. Um, I Wait, the camera's still rolling.